All right, rolling and bracing. Flat water obviously is good. White water, even better. Obviously, the reason to learn your flat water roll is so you can do it in white water. One of the things I'm doing with Cheryl to help her bomb proof her roll is putting her through her paces. You can't be wimpy about rolling in white water. You gotta recognize, you gotta find spots that are relatively safe and deep so you're not gonna be banging on rocks underwater. And then you gotta put yourself in positions where you're gonna tip. So what I'm doing here with, uh, with Cheryl is I'm putting her in, our, in Rock Island Hole at really low water. It's a very mild hole, she can't get stuck in it, but it certainly can tip her over. So tipping over and rolling up, that's all there is to it. Now obviously, if you've got a certain level of fear, the way to overcome that fear has got to be to practice your roll in flat water first. Say to yourself, okay, if I can roll in flat water, I can roll in white water. And then number two, you got to believe that. And believing it isn't like believing something that's not true. The rolls that work in flat water roll in white water. There's almost no situation where if the technique you use would have worked in flat water, that it wouldn't, it wouldn't work in white water. The few random circumstances if you're floating down trying to roll on the upstream side and waves are crashing on you. But if you're in big water like that, you probably have a roll already anyway. <laughs> so bomb peepering your roll is all about, number one, having a flat water roll that you're comfortable with. You can roll first time every time. Number two, you're practicing not set up. You're practicing setting up underwater. And then number three, you put that roll to the test in the white water. Once you've done a few of them, then it's just a matter of continuing to put yourself in more circumstances. Those circumstances are holes, waves, eddy lines, shallow water. Try tipping in shallow water in an eddy where you're bouncing on the bottom. It's hard to set up. Ah, so set up and roll. Take your time and do it. If it's hard to set up, that doesn't mean you swim. It means you get your paddle off the bottom, set up and roll. Eliminating excuses for the roll is the number one way to, to bomb proof your roll. What are the excuses for rolling? Hmm, there are none, for swimming I mean. There are no excuses. If you swim out of your boat and you weren't pinned on a rock and couldn't get off or pinned on a tree or something stupid like that, if you swim out of a hole or whatever, it's, you don't have a bomb proof roll yet. On the hole side of things, obviously you have to be able to surf out of a hole. Uh, but anyway, if you're upside down and don't roll up, it's because you don't have a bomb proof roll yet. So get on that. It's super fun to do and you'll be much happier for it.